Dear friends, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to see the top 25 engineering colleges in India. So as per your NIRF ranking, we are going to see the list of top 25 engineering institutions. As you know that through JE mains uh, and then people are writing advanced from advanced. Uh, so people will get in uh, IITs even uh, so NITs also there are in the list in the top 25 engineering institutions. So here we see the list of top 25 engineering institutions as per the previous NIRF ranking. So in NIRF ranking is the one which is considered for engineering institutions. So we'll see in the last year NIRF ranking. So that is for uh, this year JE 2023. So the first one goes for Institute of Technology Madras, so IIT Madras. And the second one is IIT Delhi. Okay, so IIT Madras and IIT Delhi, they are in the first and second and IIT Bombay is IIT, this is in the third rank, in the fourth NRF ranking, IIT Kanpur and fifth NRF ranking is goes for IIT Kharagpur. So as you see, these are the top, then again you have, basically they will vary sometimes like uh, Bombay may come, even Madras may come, even Delhi may come like that. These three will be in the top three and the other is like in the four or five, it is like uh, varies. But as per NRF ranking, present stats is, these are the top five. And then the next five goes for IIT Roorkee and the seventh one is IIT Gauhati and eighth one is, you see, NIT came into the picture, that is NIT Trichy, so which is in Tamil Nadu, okay. And in IIT Hyderabad is in the ninth rank. So basically it is established in 2008, so it is in ninth rank. So even though it is a new institute, but it is comes in the top 10. That means it is also one of the good institute. And the top 10th rank is given for NIT Suratkal. So it is in Karnataka, Suratkal. And 11th rank is Jadavpur University. It is in Kolkata. So it is in West Bengal. And 12th NRF ranking, that is VIT Vellur. VIT Vellur is 12th NRF ranking. And IIT Benaras Hindu University, BHU, that is in Varanasi. So it is in 13th rank and the 14th that is Indian Institute of Technology or you can say Indian School of Mines which is in Danbad. Okay. So it is related to the mines but now it is initially it was Indian School of Mines. Now later it is converted as IIT, ISM and then 15th rank is NIT Roorkela that is in Odisha and then 16th rank is IIT Indore. So then the 17th rank is Anna University, it is in Chennai and 18th rank, so this is instead of chemical technology, ICT, that is in Mumbai and 19th rank is Amrita Vishwa Vidyapit, that is in Coimbatore, that is in Tamil Nadu and in top 20th rank, that is IIT Mandi, that is in Himachal Pradesh and 21st rank NIT Varangal, so that is in Telangana. And 22nd rank IIT Ropar that is in Punjab and IIT, Gah say IIT Gandhinagar so this is in the 23rd rank so it is in Gujarat and 24th rank is SRM Institute of Science and Technology in Chennai so, so then the 25th rank is MIT University that is in Uttar Pradesh right so these are the top 25 engineering institutions of course some of the things were given in a name like like anna university okay like amity university but we have been considered not overall university wise it is engineering institutions so those who write uh, this uh, this je are they have their separate exams so they will they can go to their, their respective institutions so there are cutoff used to vary like for different courses like for example, even for a computer science. So for example, if you take IIT Bombay, you should get like, you know, less than, uh, how would you say, even 50, 60, even Madras will go around 100, even Delhi also 150 like that. So it basically majority of students will go for IIT Bombay. So the, the main cutoff will go within the 50 itself for IIT Bombay. Of course, it will vary for different categories. I am telling for open category. 
okay but that we'll see one by one already i have seen some videos i have given some videos that also you can go through right so these are the top 25 institutions which are comes under the nrf ranking right thank you thank you very much